Martin for the EFTD and Lee Booth. Thank you, Claude. Uh, well, of course, if, if Remain had won the referendum and if Hillary Clinton had won the presidency in the United States, none of us would be sitting here today and discussing this. It just wouldn't be an issue. But we are. So I've got a, a question for Claire Bassett of the Electoral Commission. Uh, Ms. Bassett said that, that, you know, we described how the Commission's role was to uh, enforce the rules on funding and to ensure that donors were permissible. Well, there were two campaigners in the referendum campaign that I'd like to ask about who actually used more traditional methods. First of all, Her Majesty's Government spent almost £10 million on a booklet that went to every household that only gave one side of the argument, and that was the Remain side. Now, were the government permissible donors, uh, and was their donation <laughs> registered? And secondly, regarding foreign interference in the referendum. President Obama made a special visit to the UK in order to directly influence the outcome of the referendum for the Remain side. Were the many millions of dollars that were spent on that visit, visit registered as a notional donation? And how could President Obama possibly be, possibly be a permissible donor? Uh, so if I take the first of those first, the booklet that the government produced was produced before the 10-week uh, spending period, so uh, that wasn't required to be reported in spending returns. Um, we did, before the rule, in, as the rules were progressing through Parliament, uh, make the case for a longer uh, campaign period uh, that would have covered activity like that, but in the instance of that referendum, that activity took place prior to commencement of that campaign period um, and we did monitor all of the activity that took place during the campaign period including significant events such that and they were correctly reported.